Okay, so you've got your students to do a real flash presentation. And you want the presentation, or whatever it is, to be assessed by the other students in the class. So what's an easy way of being able to distribute the link to the presentation and have two to three, maybe even five other students give that piece of work a grade and some feedback? Well, here's how. All right, so here's a, um, a, a workflow of doing a peer assessment um, of a, a student prepared presentation. So I'll start from the, the, the end. So uh, this is a spreadsheet that you can share with your class, either by Google Classroom or however you want to share it. And in this column is the link to the presentation that, uh, in this case, Keegan has done. And here is a link to the marking form that the, the kids who watch Keegan's presentation are going to complete. And you can see here that it's already got Keegan's name um, pre-filled in. And then in this third one, uh, those are the names of the, the students who are going to mark Keegan's presentation. All right, so it's a really good workflow for peer assessment. So let's take you back a few steps on how we get there. So first of all, I've hidden a number of columns. So I'll just unhide them. And as you can see, I've got a, a bunch of information that I've collected via a Google form. So let's just have a look at that um, Google form. So in this Google form, this is what the students were asked to complete to share the presentation that they created. Okay, so in some instructions there, in this case it was a, a Google Slides um, that was set up as a, a self-playing um, presentation. So there's a bit of instructions for them, but what they had to do, they had to choose their student name from a list. Okay, and that's quite important because once you get the, uh, you don't want the, person to type in the name in case you get some different names typed in. Uh, they put the name of their career. Here they paste in the link to their presentation. Now just a bit of a tip, when you go to put in that drop down menu for the student's name, you, you want to get them like a standard uh, name, like if you've got two Joshes in your class, I've got two Michaels in my class, so one's Michael underscore D, one's Michael underscore R. And that's important to differentiate between those two kids with the same name. So what I did is I got them from a previous list. So here we go. Here are the kids' names. They've put in their career. And there is the link. Now when we come to the, the marking form, which is a different one, and you can see how it's pre-filled. Well, that's a setting uh, that's in the Google form. Okay, so... When you go to the Google Film, you go to the three dots and go to the Get Pre-Filled Link. Okay, so in here we just can choose a person's name and we want to get that link down the bottom. Okay, and we want to copy that link. Now that link's going to become important because when we get to the spreadsheet, we do some stuff with it. So again, this one here was collected from the form. This one here is the link to the student's pre-filled marking form. Now, if I just paste in there to show, now look here, this is a bit of spreadsheet magic here. I've, I've got a, um, a cell reference in here, that's C4. Now, that's quite important. The link that I got, and I'll just paste it down here for you to see, that I got from the form, if you can see there, equals the name Joshua. Well, I don't want to have to go and copy and paste all the pre-filled links for all these students. So what I've done is I've adapted the link to the marking, and instead of equaling Joshua, I've put it equals ampersand C4. Now what's in C4? It's the student's name. Okay, so it's pulling the name from that cell C4, and it's putting it in that link. So that means when I click on that link here to mark this work it's pre-filled in for that boy there and if I just show you another example so let's look at this one for Max click on that link and it's updated for Max so there now we've got to do another bit of spreadsheet magic and in this link 
we want to put the text to make it really clear to students what the instructions are. So, you know, click here to see the presentation by Keegan and then click here to mark. So the words here, it's a hyperlink formula. So we put equals hyperlink and E4, that's the name. Oh, sorry, that's the link that it's going to navigate to. Okay, so that's the first part of the formula, E4. Then here's the text. We use a um, speech marks. Click here to see presentation by speech marks. And then the ampersand C4, that simply puts the, the student's name in there. And again, because it's a formula, I can copy that down. And hopefully you can see here, as I go down, C7, C10, C11, C12, it updates for the student and also the link. And it's a similar process with the link to the marking form. So here, again, the hyperlink is in F4. All right, and click here to mark the work of, and it's got that bit of code there um, to put the student's name in. And then this is just another little bit of code here. You can see that I just wanted the, the next three students in the list. So Mark and Keegan's is Alex, Oliver, and Max. Well, they are the next three students in the, in the list. And kids often can't work out if they're the next three students in the list. So there's just a simple concaticate, okay, which pulls the names from C6, C7, C8. And then when I copy that down, C7, C8, C9, C8, C9, C10. So it's just automatically updated. Okay, and there is the little bit of spreadsheet magic uh, to do your peer marking workflow. Now, if I go to this form here, the presentation feedback, well, it's another bit of spreadsheet magic. So the, the, the peer markers have filled in the form. So we can see here that um, this person, KP, has filled in for Jacob, and he's given him some assessments. Remember, this is coming from this presentation marking. Okay, so someone has filled in that form, and it's landed in this spreadsheet here. And what we want to be able to do is send that feedback back to the presenter. Okay, so Jacob was the presenter, and this was the email of the person who filled it out because the form has collected, you can see here, the email address of the person doing the peer assessment. So we want to send basically the information in here, the grades and more importantly the comment, back to the person who created the presentation, which is this person here. So we've got a lookup. I've added another um, column, and this formula here is looking up the name of the presenter, D2, from this range in the spreadsheet here where it's got the presenter's email. Okay, so it's just returning the presenter's email, the name of the presenter, and that's looked up his email. In this case, we're using an add-on. So when you set up the formula uh, add-on, it's an email merge utility, where you just go through the stages to set up the email that's going to return to the presenter uh, the results of what his peers have given you. So in this case, it's triggered um, on the form submit. The template, I've just called it presentation feedback, and I want to send it for all rows. And then here's what the template looks like. So it's to the presenter email. Now remember we got that from the V lookup. It's in this case, it's about the careers presentation. Dear, this is the, the, the form field for the name of the presenter. So it doesn't matter who the presenter's name is. This, the spreadsheet's going to put the right name in here. Here's what your classmates thought of it. And again, here are the marks, this content. And again, it's going to give the content mark for style. And again, it's going to the style mark. There's those form fields. And you can just drag these in um, from the merge tags over here. The overall score and the comment. And it's also got the email address of the person who marked that. And again, it just says take on board these comments and be BTB or better than before um, for next time. So the effect of this is the presenter, the person who created this careers presentation, in this case Jacob, is going to get an email with all the grades 
from a number of different boys who marked his um, presentation. So as you can see here, there's a whole heap of assessing going on. Rather than just one person marking it, we have over almost 100 assessments, so three each from a class of 30. And then the other little bit of spreadsheet magic is if you can look over here, the teacher can very easily get a summary using a pivot table. All right, so a pivot table's got a really good uh, tool to it. So you can see here that I've just selected the data from the presentation feedback from those cells. It's the rows are the names of the presenter, and you can see them down there. The columns are the overall score, in this case the grade, and, and, and we report by curriculum levels. And so I can see that five boys gave Alizé a curriculum level three. For Alexander, two boys gave him curriculum level five, and two boys gave him curriculum level six. So it's a very easy way for you as the teacher to get the overview of what the results of the peer assessment was. And hopefully you can see that there's some fairly consistent, there's not a lot of spread um, in how the classmates have marked their classmates' work.